What's going on guys? My name's Cam, this is Dunlap Customs, and welcome to a new video. Today, we got a good video for you, and you may have asked why. This Johnson. We got an 08 Honda CRV. We've done them before. I don't really know how I feel about them. They're pretty good, but you know, you know, the, the carpets are a little, you know, a little hard to get out of sometimes, so you know. Got the keys. We're gonna see, we're gonna see how this this one goes but uh not the worst one i've seen he definitely keeps it well well kept up but uh there definitely is some stuff that we got to take out of so uh let's check it out all right Tay, let's check out the interior yeah, plastics don't look too bad there's definitely some dirt on the leather here <laughs> rubber mats have definitely been used before i can tell you that one Leather doesn't look too bad. Plastics are too bad. Just have the usual dust on them. Side panels need to be cleaned. Back's actually better than the front. Which you never know with a SUV. But she doesn't have kids, so uh, the back's probably better. <laughs> <laughs> this Johnson looks like it's the best. Hey guys, I think we're going to do an outside wash for her, but we're not going to do it today because I don't have enough time and it's my dog's birthday. So, uh, got to get back for her and uh, spend some time with her. So, hey guys, let's get into it. Alright, Alrighty guys, I just wanted to show you a little rundown of what I use when I detail the plastics in a car. So, um, pretty simple. I'm not very complex or expensive when I use my stuff. I use um, just a simple green all-purpose cleaner and then I use this brush which is very um, very harsh it's uh, um, you get like in between all of like the really really tough nooks and crannies right here and then this as my cleaners spilling out um, and then I use this a little softer brush for the same thing nooks and crannies but it's just um, has a wider stance to it so you can just get um, cover more of a surface area but uh, then yeah just a microfiber usually if things are really dirty I like to um, use two microfibers one to clean one to dry um, it just um, the best results happen when you do that but uh, for this car I'm just gonna use a microfiber and then when we do our second plastic clean we'll do our second microfiber so let's get into it boys <laughs> guys we are done with the interior plastics now we're going to go onto the carpet the carpet is in really good condition so we're probably only going to have to use soap and water with a little bit of an all-purpose cleaner and uh, get these things looking great and uh yeah now on to colin for the trick of the day
Alrighty guys, we are all done with the interior of the car. Just for the um, love in my heart, I'm gonna do the exterior for her for free on another day, but I don't have enough time today. So let's check out the exterior. Interior, I always get that wrong. Plastics came out fantastic. Remember there was some dirt on this leather that came out just good. The doors came out great. I dropped water on that. Don't look at that. Oh yeah, center stack came out great. Seats came out amazing. Plastics and screens are streak free. Look at that guys. Oh yeah, she came out amazing. Check out the back. The rugs came out fantastic on this car, which I don't know if I just got better or these were just easier to get out, but everything got out of this car and I'm super happy about that. And over there, you can also <laughs> take a look at the rubber mats. Everything for the most part came out of these rubber mats. There's a lot of stuck on goo or gum on that. Don't worry about that, sorry. I did a scooter detail. Oop. They shoved it up. Well, yeah, let's pop these back in the car and eat some lunch.